Next example, same kind of question. We want to find f inverse prime of a for this function, f of x equals cosine of x. Uh, we're going to restrict it to the domain from 0 to pi so that when we find the inverse, or if we were to find the inverse, it's actually still a function. And at the a value of root 3 over 2. So I'm going to call g of x the inverse of f. And then f prime is just negative cosine of x. That's one, That one's easy. So here's our formula for the derivative of an inverse. And when I do that, I want g prime of root 3 over 2. And that becomes 1 over f prime of g of root 3 over 2. So let's think about how we would find g of root 3 over 2. All right. So if we can figure out what x value would give us, um, what x value inserted into f would give us root 3 over 2, then we will know g of root 3 over 2 equals that same thing. All right, so let's start with f. We need to figure out cosine of what would give us root 3 over 2. So think about your unit circle. Think about your unit circle. It's the cosine is the first coordinate of the points on that unit circle. So we know that cosine of pi over 6 would give us root 3 over 2. Therefore, g of root 3 over 2 is pi over 6. So once we do that, now we need f prime of pi over 6. That's a negative sine of pi over 6. The sine of pi over 6 is 1 half, so that's a negative 1 half. 1 over negative 1 half is negative 2. All right. So g prime of root 3 over 2 equals negative 2.